Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mod showcase on the channel and today we are going to be going over a very underrated and unknown mod that I have come across. It is called the War of the Worlds mod. As of this moment it only has 2000 downloads but as you'll see when we go through this mod it has so much to offer and should definitely be up there with some of the bigger mods that are known of. I rate this mod in some of my top 10 1.16.4 mods out there as of the moment as you can see just from around me there is loads this mod has to offer and even another world but this mod is the war of the world mod based off of the famous books and films so everything from this mod is modeled around those and it is phenomenal so guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and then slap that like button. You know what to do. Now, let's get into this mod. It is an amazing, amazing mod. I am baffled when I saw that it only had just over 2,000 downloads. It has been out for uh, a fair few months now. It's been out since 1.15.2. I'm pretty sure it's definitely been out in the 1.15 forge and yeah <laughs> such little amount of downloads for what this mod has to offer it has tech it has brand new blocks it has weapons tools armor it is just chock full of stuff and to be honest I don't know where to begin with what this mod has to offer because it does bring so much in and uh, so while we're here we might as well take a look at some of the suits so these are the two arms that come with it. This is a Martian tech suit. So if you don't know what War of the Worlds is, it's pretty much when Mars invades Earth. And uh, yeah, it's probably the one, the film you guys would probably know is probably the one with Tom Cruise. But there have been films before that and even TV series and books. But yeah, this is the Martian suit right here. So let's get some of this out. Not, not that helmet. Uh, let's get that that and the boots so let's put these on there we go we're looking awesome with our martian scrap helmet and chest plate leggings and boots it is just awesome looking i must say and then over here we have the steampunk stuff so let's get this out and let's try some of this stuff on so obviously as normal you can see what it offers having this suit on it is strong a lot stronger than the steampunk version but let's pop it on anyway and let's see what it looks like. I personally prefer the look of this one. This, or well, steam suit rather, sorry. Uh, armor set rather than the Martian set. Even though the Martian set is a lot stronger. So we are going to go put the Martian set back on. Just because we'll use it later. And as I was saying, this mod comes with loads and loads of different blocks as well. These are just some of the different blocks up for offer. We have uranium as well for a nuclear bomb that is in this mod, which is awesome. Um, so who knows, we might use that to do nuke versus for 1.16.4 mobs. But we also have lots of other different quartz and ores available as well. Some of these are found on Mars and some of them are found on Earth. And these are cheeses. That's normal cheese. And then that's uranium enriched cheese. Because why not? It's a thing. And over here we have some of the weapons in this mod. I still view this as a very underdeveloped mod as well. Um, so the weapons, the swords and that don't look fantastic. I will say we'll get them out and we'll have a look at some of them. And we'll get a look at this one and this one. They do have a lot to be worked on, but as you'll see, it makes it worth it in this mod. The sword still looks pretty cool. It looks very Minecrafty. So if that's what they're going for, and if that's what you specifically like, that it fits in seamlessly with the Minecraft feel, then this is ideal for you. They're not too out there, they're not too elaborate. They just fit in quite nicely. For me, I'd prefer them with a bit more detail, but that's just my personal preference. And there you go, it gives you a bit of different uh, 
information for each sword they all have their different abilities as well they are extremely varied they're not just carbon copies of one another which is what i love about this mod they put thought into it it's fantastic so we're going to use the uranium sword but just because it looks awesome and uh the crystal saber i wonder what they're trying to rip that off of um okay so we now have our martin suit and we have a uranium sword now if we go over here oh well we'll take a look at the guns actually as well so it does come with a set amount of guns so you have a uh, revolver flintlock you have a metford you have a what is essentially a semi-auto and then you have a special revolver uh, you have a slingshot as well land mines and a nuclear bomb that I was on about earlier and all these are powered with these weapons down here there is actually also an RPG which I've somehow forgotten to get out because how can I forget to get out the RPG it's awesome so we'll get out that weapon to go with that uh, and we'll keep that there for now we'll put that up there I'll tell you what we'll take this with us as well with the ammunition needed it tells you what ammunition is needed which is great so you don't have to faff around thinking oh great what ammunition is it it's it tells you right there and let's get out that let's try the loud oh, yeah let's try the lamp mine. we've also got some molotovs because why not and bandages to heal ourselves up as well so let's try just throwing some of these stuff and see what it's like it leaves a fair bit of damage you do not want to be hit by one of these things okay so also landmine and man you if you tread on one of these bad boys that is that you you are gone you're a goner so you're gonna want to protect your base with these items especially putting the landmines around so maybe i should just now give you a brief run overview of what is described about this mod on the curse forge it is described as an experience a full martian invasion in minecraft Spawn in your world and prepare for an assault from land, sky, and water. Yes, all these different Martians come from all the different environments. We will look at the mobs for them later, so, so make sure to stick around for the whole episode. Um, from an overpowering alien force, team up with friends and enemies to defeat Martians invading your world. Discover new and awesome items with research systems. Craft and build different weapons from different eras of human and Martian history. This mod is not for the faint of heart. It is a difficult mod. Um, if you're new to the mod, it recommends easy. Just start on easy because as you'll see later with these mobs, they're hard. They are massive. They are difficult. They are fast. It, they're just ridiculous. Um, but they are awesome. And as I was saying earlier, research. You can research all your favorite blocks and items in Minecraft and new additions brought on by Martian Invasion. But use that research to get some new cool weapons and fight back. So that is how you get some of the weapons. And you get them through various items like this. So you have a transmogrify here which you need to power with a crystal. Uh, I'm sorry as well if I'm speaking rather fast today guys. Because there is just so much in this mod. And I want to give you guys as much of an overview as I can. I can't go into everything in detail because this is such an in-depth mod. Um... And for crafting recipes, you're going to have to install a crafting recipe mod. Uh, because on the wiki, there isn't actually any information for any of that yet. Um, so that's what you're going to have to do for that. Sorry about that. But it is what it is as for now. Let's see if I can locate some of the crystals. Here we go. So you're going to use these uh, to transmogrify. So let's get out one of these bad boys and slap it in here. So transmogrify whatever you want there we go so what has it thrown us out it has thrown us out an anvil nice okay awesome so if you throw in a lo load of these um potent uh strong do we have any other variations so let's see what will transmogrify for us next so what has it given us now nice okay a nautilus shell <laughs> nothing of use there and over here we have a research table where we're going to pop some of these research books. Uh, let's, say, let's see what one we want to get out uh, and give a go. So this is a diary as well which are going to be used uh, over in this section here. Scribing table. So let's see if we can pop this in here. We need to pop other bits and bobs in there as well. Yet again, 
Gonna have to just download uh, an items mod to see what else you're gonna need to pop in there. But I'm just giving you guys a gist. Here we have a Martian teleporter. And yeah, this is one you have on Earth to get back, place on Mars to get back to Earth. But they are not the only ways to get to Mars as well, which we will look at in a second. And here we have some of the tools in this mod. So lead and new ore added in, uranium, which I already pointed out earlier. We ha also have another one called Tungsten, um, which you can make these few tools out of. We also have a Martian multi-tool effect. It's a pickaxe, axe, and a shovel. It's a multi-tool. We also have an artisan's knife, and then we have a Martian mining laser. Nice. It is pretty awesome. And then down here, we have the Mars Warp Tech Level 3. All you got to do with this is right-click on the ground to warp to Mars, but make sure to take the Earth Warp with you because this is gonna be how you get back here. Nice. And then over here we have an invasion scrambler. Prevents Martians from landing around you when in inventory. So very good. You're gonna want that around because normally they will just pop up everywhere. And then you're gonna use the Geiger counter to find uranium to craft all your uranium tools. Over here we have a Martian core. Heart emanates immeasurable power, highest tech level. And then over here, admin key, which you can only get in creative, but I thought I'd include it just to show you guys. Now let's get out some of these awesome stuff. All right, so let's warp over to Mars, shall we? This is awesome, <laughs> I love this. We have completed the challenge life on Mars. All right, so it spawned us underground for whatever reason so watch out for that i guess but we are oh, there we go some of the new ores so that's the gold ore that spawned in i'll tell you what let's have a night potion night vision potion because my shaders sometimes don't like it when we go to other dimensions or worlds and makes everything extremely dark there we go now we can actually see awesome there we go We've got some ice it's nice it's nice around here i like it so let's go see if we can find some Martians around this place and just explore. So there's the lead you're going to get. Okay, awesome. This is just so cool looking. It is just amazing. New biomes, new trees, new wells. So these are all the new Martian blocks. Essentially all the different biome types you get on the overworld or the normal Minecraft world. You get a Mars variation up here. So, as you can see, with the ice and with the deserts, and then you have the spruce forest. But it's not spruce, it's Martian trees. But this looks amazing. I just have to say, it looked absolutely phenomenal. I want to know what your guys' opinion so far is on this. Do you love the look of this Martian world? Because I do. I just think it's awesome. Now, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting anymore. Let's take a look at some of these mobs, shall we? All right, let's get rid of some of this, throw it down here. I'll tell you what, we'll probably nuke them at the end as well, because why not? That's what I, that's sense of what I like to do. All right, so let's go over here and let's get out some of the mobs. So a looter is one of the few structures that gets spawned in the overworld. I probably should just point out these are normal humans. So these are just going to be everyone in the world trying to fight for survival so let's can they can can you survive there we go okay i forgot i left it on peaceful so i didn't get attacked while running you guys through the other stuff so they can breathe on mars which i don't know if i if i like or not so I, i'm gonna just say these are mars settlers this is the, there's a dome or something with air i'm just gonna make that up um just to make it seem more legit that that's purely what i'm doing Okay, so let's get our flying machine. Let's get out all these different Martian weapons and creatures. There's just actually so many, and they are just so awesome. We have some actual Martian um, wildlife as well to go along with this, which is awesome as well. Um, loads of thought has been put into this mod and baffles me how it is just so unheard of, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, so let's take a look at the flying machine and let's turn on some sound so we can actually hear this thing. Okay, so as you can see, the detail in these are just fantastic. 
which is one of the things that baffled me so much how it is so unheard of and I just haven't seen any mod showcases for this anywhere or advertising it out to people it's madness and here we have the main fighting machine oh if I can even see <laughs> it's it's not liking the world so here we go we have the main Martian fighting machine if if my world stops doing whatever it's doing maybe it's my Bob is just not loving life right now I don't know uh, but we are on the ground and we are struggling there we go okay it is it is in there and it is doing its thing okay so I don't quite know what went on there with the Martian flying machine but it's fine it's killing all the poor looters so that is like the big bad boy of the mod it is massive it is strong and you don't want to mess with it as you can see it's wiped out absolutely freaking everything so next up we have a small scalping machine then we have the kamikaze machine and I'm gonna actually turn the sound down because we're just literally hearing it blow stuff up and we know no one needs to hear that all right now we have the electronic machine which there there we go also a massive massive uh, robot Martian robot thing which is sort of terrifying imagine this invading earth that's a no from me then we have a bombarding machine awesome it's like an AT-80 -AT from uh, Star Wars or ATTA I can't quite remember the actual designation I'm sure I'll be corrected but as you see the amount of Martian technology and machine and mobs is amazing it is awesome and yeah it's just fantastic so these things we're gonna spawn a load of them in later over in the uh, overworld uh, surround the city with them and I'm sorry I don't know quite what it is doing when when it's going around this it might still be very buggy in the Martian world so that may be what it is I didn't see any reports of this so who are who who knows could well just be my own computer but let's take a look at some of the Martian natives shall we so let's go fly away from these guys and spawn in some of these so we have a Martian roach which only has 20 HP so nothing really spectacular about these guys all right yet again sorry that is switching to this it's not your guys screen it is purely mine um, I may just switch back to earth and see that might be better so this might just be a good time to warp back to earth and show you guys how that happens so there we go pretty pretty gosh darn easy it spawns to wherever your home set is so wherever your last uh, spawn location your bed is set uh, don't know why mine was set over there but hey ho there you go so we also have a rock slug and we also have an ashigator which is awesome so cool I love that and it's it's definitely what I'd hope if gators were added to Minecraft would look like uh, probably not ash colored but you get the drip you get the gist and I love the little British things that are in this mod it's great got a got a telephone box and we got a police box just so cool I don't I don't know if any of the Americans sort of know about that but it's it's very British and I love it very much all right so let's spawn some of these uh mobs martian mobs all around here like it's a true martian invasion okay so i've just gone a bit crazy and just spawned in a load of different martian mobs and it looks fantastic they do do damage they do do they do damage to the uh, the uh blocks around them as well as you can see when firing upon them they do destroy uh everything they will not hold back um, so that is one of the warnings about this is it will destroy your base they have no fear about that at all and these flying mobs are going to get you yet again from the air and when these guys invade in your survival it says that they come up from the ocean and that is because the red Martian seaweed starts to slowly infect the overworld turning the overworld into Mars almost a sort of terraforming structure of it uh what are these guys doing are they throwing blocks around what was that we all saw that right we all we all saw them frozen blocks okay so there you go guys that is a brief look at the war of the world's martian mod 
let me know what you guys think about this mod. Are you going to go download this mod? Let everyone know about this mod. Because I, for one, absolutely love it. I can't wait to see this mod explode and be like, I was one of the ones that found it first. Uh, if you guys have played this uh, already before seeing this video, also let me know that because I'd love for your guys' opinions on it as always. And remember guys, if you are new, please subscribe to the channel, notification bell, like button, as it really does help out the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys, see ya.